Hey, where's up everybody? It's an arbitrary day of the week. We're having another discussion. And I wanted to have a conversation about a conversation I had about Elestral's cards. That's a mouthful. Um, <laughs> yeah, basically I had a conversation the other day about some Elestral's cards and mechanics. And if you have seen my Elestral's Unique video, I said that I do really like how Tsunami, Sorolet, Riceros, those cards function in the game. And I want to touch in why I really like those mechanics. Right, so that's what today is going to be about. Why those mechanics, in my opinion, are very good. So this is Peppy. He says you should like and subscribe to the video because he's a good boy. Thanks. So why are these so good for the game? Why do I like these designs? Why do I think they're great designs versus other weakness systems and such? And that's because the risk reward for both players is there and the mechanical skill for both players is there, creating a more in-depth game, right? Let's start with Tsunami. I am playing Tsunami. I have the high reward of a powerful card in my deck with the kind of high to medium risk of my opponent could play Water Spirits and shut this off completely. They still need to play those Water Spirits at the right time, but I have the ability to just shut off non-water stuff. It's a great, great card. As the opposition player, I have to make the risk reward circumstance in my deck building for my spirit deck. And do I add water spirits to counter tsunamis in my main deck? Or maybe I put them in my side deck because the game knows that people might want to do this. We can put different spirits in our side deck as well. So I could potentially just have water spirits in my side deck if I know my opponent's running tsunami. So there's a risk reward of adding those cards to your spirit deck. That risk is fairly low because... I can just play the Leviathan in my spirit deck. If I don't need it, I can expend it for damage or use it for casting another card. Then there's a high risk reward situation in the game for having those spirits where do I play, say, my Necroft with a water on it to potentially counter a Tsunami? Or do I play my normally enchanted Necroft and still try to attack for the extra damage? Do I play a misenchanted Sorlet to get over Riceros, but now maybe they're playing a Sorlet and they can get over my Sorlet? There's just this risk-reward gameplay that is unique to Elestials here where I can just enchant stuff, misenchant stuff to kind of work my way around my opponent's strong cards. I think it's really fun and interesting and unique and something that Elestials mechanically is only able to do. There's not a lot, a lot of other games that say, hey, you can just change your element of this card to counteract something. You can't usually, in Match the Gathering, turn your creature to a black creature to not get destroyed by a Doom Blade. Like, that's extremely rare in Magic Gathering, which is another pretty, like, color focused game. But in Elestials, it's like, hey, I have a Necro, hit the Thunder Necro for this turn because I need to get over Aceros. Super unique design space. A lot of fun. I really enjoy it. So that's why I think these mechanics are good. These mechanics could have easily just been, hey, Thunder Elestials can't attack with Aceros in play, or. Could have easily have been, you know, water Elestrals are unaffected by Tsunami, put everything else in defense. Those would have not been fun cards. Cards that say, hey, your core deck strategies need to change to address these cards is not a fun design. We just make people frustrated at these cards because you don't want to run like Capricorn in your Earth deck just to get over Tsunami like walls. Like that would not be fun to have to completely change my deck to play around these cards. But instead, I just have to tweak a few things in my resource pile and still play at the right time, but just tweak some things in my resource pile to get around these cards. Way better design than it could have been. It could have been just really frustrating, toxic card design. But instead, it's something that, you know, I can feel rewarded for playing my Water Spirits in my Earth deck at the right time. And my opponent also can feel rewarded for playing their really powerful card that they know has a risk to it, but is really strong if it goes off. So that's why I like the design. I know I rammed a little bit here. There's a lot of information there, but I think I like these designs way better than what they could have possibly been. And at the same time, I do want to see more of these kind of effects without going too overboard. Because if we go excessive on these mechanics, well, then we're looking at a game where you're running eight different spirits in your 20-card spirit deck to try to counter eight different, you know, deck mechanics all the same. That would just be excessive. But to having, you know, 
a few cards here and there that are really good that have this mechanic that make you think about them without expecting them every game is very interesting from a lot of different perspectives. So that's what I like about them. I'll see you guys in the next video. Sorry for rambling a little bit here. You guys have a great one. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos. I am still working on this channel. I hope to get more views and all that jazz. Progress is progress, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.